It's Bristol Ballet's 70th anniversary, and with an impressive upcoming schedule, now is the time for you to sign up. Michelle Plescia, Bristol Ballet's artistic director, is here to tell us more about their upcoming student registration. Hi, Michelle. Hi. Ha good morning. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Thanks for coming on Daytime. We appreciate it. We love being here. Yeah, so Bristol Ballet, big anniversary this year. Yes. You guys are all 70 years old. Tell me a little bit about what's it like to be a part of uh, this big mile. Um, well, I'm very honored to be part of this and to, and to have seen Bristol Ballet to this point mm -hmm. um, since 2004. I've been here as director, and uh, yeah, it's quite an honor. I, I actually started my ballet training with Bristol Ballet many, many, many <laughs> years ago. Um, so to have been a student with Miss Harding, she was the founder, mm -hmm. and then I left and came back and left and came back, mm -hmm. and I've kind of come full circle now in, right. in her place. So that's such an honor and, and big responsibility. But uh, so yeah, we're very pleased to to be at the 70 year mark. Right, and I'm sure it's extra special for you, like you just mentioned, you have a personal connection to being a student and teacher and now the artistic director. And tell me a little bit about what you all are doing this year for the 70th anniversary? We have several things going on. We're gonna kick off our season. It actually started July 1. Um, so our first event will be registration for fall classes, which mm -hmm. starts this Saturday and goes through next week. Um, you can register online anytime, but we have some open houses as well. Um, and then our Nutcracker production, mm -hmm. of course, is always a fun and exciting thing. People look forward to coming to see that. So. Uh, and then we're planning some things for the spring that will um, reflect some of our 70-year events. And we have a big event planned that we want the whole community to participate mm -hmm. in, but also alumni from anywhere in the world. And, um, and then finish up with a student concert in May. Okay. And tell me a little bit about how you all are incorporating alumni into uh, this year's anniversary. We are searching for and asking people to come forward and share stories with us uh, about their experiences with Bristol Ballet. We've been posting on social media some older pictures. We've been going through pictures for like the last two years. Wow. And it's been a lot of fun just I'm, to... I'm sure that's so cool for you to be able to you know, obviously you've seen Bristol Ballet grow over uh, several years, but being able to look back on the pictures and see kind of what it was and what it's turned into, right? It's a lot of fun. And we've had some people come in and, and help us go through and say, oh, I remember this person. And <laughs> help us kind of sort things by decade. And That's yeah. great. And you're having alumni come in and tell their stories and share kind of their experience, right? Yes. And if anybody's out there, we you know we'd love to hear your story as well. Um, we will post those on social media and maybe gather some up together to, to do as a presentation with mm -hmm. our um, event. And uh, before we go, the 70 for 70 campaign, real quick, what is that? 70 for 70, so celebrate 70 years, donate $70 or any multiple thereof. We would be so honored to have that. Yeah. All right, Michelle Plescia, thank you so much. And if you're interested in signing up for the fall registration, all the information for Bristol Ballet is right there on your screen. And there are open houses as well. Michelle, as always, thank you so much. Thank you.